What's up guys, NBA Talk filling in for April 6th, 2016 because by the time I put up this video it's going to be April 7th, um, yeah, a thir um, Thursday night. So we have a couple games that went down. You have the Indiana Pacers beating the Cavaliers without LeBron James. We have the Detroit Pistons uh, giving themselves breathing room in the playoffs. Uh, against the uh, Orlando Magic, the the Detroit Pistons are still not in the playoffs yet, but they just give themselves breathing room. You have the Washington Wizards trying to keep themselves alive um, by beating the Brooklyn Nets. You have the Boston Celtics beating the New Orleans Pelicans. We have the Charlotte Hornets beating beating my New York Knicks, and now we have. Um, the Dallas Mavericks, this video, Dallas Mavericks beating the Houston Rockets. I did not see the whole entire game. Um, only saw like pretty much like some part of the third quarter. I didn't see the um, first half. And as I look at the stats, um, the Dallas Mavericks actually struggled in the first quarter. Came back hard in the second quarter. The third quarter, they struggled. And I don't know how, but they they were able to come back and beat this guy, um, beat the Houston Rockets in the clutch. I don't know who took it because I thought it was gonna be a wrap, but apparently, apparently the Dallas Mavericks were able to edge this out. Uh, Ten lead changes, pretty much a good switcheroo, a lot. Uh, it was eighty-eight to eighty-six. So let's look at the Dallas Mavericks right now. Um, you have Anderson with five points. Um, I don't know his first name. Dirk Davinsky didn't take much shots in. Um, pretty much playing defense for the most part, which he didn't do so good, looks like it. Um, seven points and six rebounds. He's truly being limited this time around. Yeah, Zaza Bakilia looks like he's back in the starting lineup. Eight points. 16 points from Wesley Matthews. J.J. Brea with 27 points, 8 assists. He shot 4 out of 7 for the 3-point range. This guy has been showing up ever since um, Devon Williams went down. Actually, they rested him tonight. They didn't want to use him, which is fantastic. They didn't really need much from him because J.J. Brea is stepping up in a huge way. This guy, a veteran, I think he's been here for more than 10 years. At least close to 10 years. Um, he's been stepping up big time. Stepping up. Always. Um, which is very fantastic. Because. Um, they really need him. Now now more than ever. Um, the team shot 41% from the field. 30% for the 3 point range. Uh, only made 12 turnovers. Uh, 19 assists. 40 rebounds. As I look at the stats, uh, it was not much. Like, they looked like they really struggled, which was the case. But somehow they won. I don't get the Houston Rockets, man. They're just going to get... So let's just look at the Houston Rockets. Um, Trevor Ariza, 9 points, 4 out of 10 shooting. 4 points from McDaniels. He somehow is in the starting lineup now. Dwight Howard, 14 points, 16 rebounds, um, 7 and 9 shooting, 0 from 4 from the free throws. At least he's getting the ball more. And trust me, that's that's more than enough than he's been getting lately. Um, and I can see James Horton, he shot 22 times. Um, I don't know why. He had 26 points. Um, four assists, five rebounds, six turnovers. You have Patrick Beverly with nine points. You have Michael Beasley with 12 points, uh, 15 points actually coming off the bench. Uh, oh damn. The team shot 43% from the field overall, 30% from the three point range. Um, 41 rebounds collected, 15 turnovers, only 19 assists. This is a very, very bad uh, situation. You have Dallas Mavericks, 
beating the Houston Rockets, pretty much just uh, pushing down the Houston Rockets, and as well as elevating them, elevate themselves above the Utah Jazz, who lost last time, last game to, I believe, I believe it was the San Antonio Spurs they lost to, lost. So the Dallas Mavericks has some breathing room. Uh, shoot. And you have Portland Trailblazers winning tonight against the um, Thunder. Uh, so I think this is pretty much uh clinch the Portland Trailblazers um in the playoffs. Pretty much so. So the gap is closing right now. It's only up to like five games left in the season. The Houston Rockets are more looking like they're not going to make the playoffs. It looks like it's going to be the last time you see this team, this roster, because you're going to see a whole lot of changes going on. You're going to see that point guard position change, the center spot, the power forward spot, the small forward. James Harden is going to probably be the only person who's still standing in this locker room. So that's it. Dallas wins. They keep themselves alive. It's still not over yet, but they keep themselves alive. So...